Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And today we're gonna to be continuing on with Crash Bandicoot 2, of course, by going into the third warp room. In the last episode, we completed the second warp room, got a bunch of gems, some colored, some not, and even beat up the Komodo Brothers, which was nice and fun. But now we're gonna go ahead and, oh no, get an intermission. Hello. Good show, Crash. The Komodo Brothers obviously lacked your metal, but now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. All right. Well, we got the first level, which is plant food, and it has the yellow gem. I don't know if we can do this right now, but we're gonna find out together. Okay, so let's go. This is yet another stream level. I think this might be like the last one, though. Whoa! It's always the first jump that gets me, too. Oh man, if it is a for the last stream level, I'm gonna miss it. But we're almost at 40 lives now. Gosh darn, I just gotta not rush it. I just gotta not be a dingus and not rush it. But I'm pretty sure that this is another level where we have the timer, so I'm also trying to get used to rushing it. All right, where they set jump. There we go. Man, these levels look so beautiful though. I will never be able to get over that. So one way right here. There we go, that wasn't too bad. No timer starting yet though, so I don't have to worry about it immediately. Let's get you. I will jump on you, and will the timer start? Yes, it will, so we got a minute. We're not gonna do that just now. We're gonna focus on getting all the crates. I think that we can get the crates normally, so I think we'll be fine. Give me that Aku Aku. Go, go, go. Uh-oh, Nitro Crate. Ah, no, we went right into it. Did it make a toilet flush sound? Oh gosh, I love this game. <laughs> we got flushed, not good at all. See, I'm not really too worried about the timer but it will give me a good idea of how much time I really need to spend on this kind of stuff. It's a really difficult area though. What? Oh, come on, I needed that, I'm sure. So what do we gotta do here? We gotta do our cool tricks like that, do the backflip. Not a double backflip, but that's fine. What's also cool is that Crash's sister Coco is also proven to get pretty extreme with stuff. Of course, we see her on her own jet ski in the Next game, Crash 3, which I'm excited to play through that one as well. This one is definitely, I think, the one I'm gonna get the most enjoyment out of, though. Oh boy. There we go, there we go. Awesome. So I'm gonna be trying to play a bunch of Crash Bandicoot today. I've been trying to figure out my, oh. I've been making a lot of silly mistakes, and that's one of them. But I've been trying to figure out my my schedule recently. I've been trying to change it around and make things work a little bit more because if, if you've been a long time fan, you know that I usually post like two to three videos a day and that's when it seems like most of the Zebra Herd is happy is when there's two to three videos going out today, like every day, and that there are a variety of videos, you know, on different kinds of games. You guys seem to like that a lot and I want to definitely get back to doing that. But so far in 2017, I've been really busy and I've only been able to do one or two videos a day. So I'm trying to find out a schedule that I can work with that'll make it more possible. When did I not get that? Well, I got it now. I gotta be careful, I don't want it to explode on me though. So I've been trying to do that and I think I've sort of found what will work for me. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, those will be my recording days. So those are the days that I'm gonna record as much as physically possible. My goal will probably be record at least like seven or eight videos each day. That'll help me keep up, because also, I'm trying to get Zebra Bonus back into the mix, so being able to record a couple extra videos a day, you know, for those days, because you know, obviously the idea is that if I only record Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then I need to record enough to keep up with three or so videos every day, even, you know, for the days that I didn't record. And then of course, Tuesday and Thursday will be for editing a lot. And then the weekend will probably be for non-YouTube related stuff, just so that I can get caught up. Because of course, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that has to get going as well. I mean, one thing I have to eat. I have to go to the grocery store sometimes or something similar to that. There are real life things that have to be done to keep the lights on. Whop, there we go. Not only that, but, oh, did we get it? We did, okay, good, good, good. I also have to do a lot of maintenance, of course, keeping all the computers running and making sure that I have hard drive space. That stuff actually eats up a ton of time. So there are those two gems, or that one gem and that one crystal. Let's move back into plant food and get ourselves the yellow gem. Okay, so the timer has started. Let's go. Oh boy. Ugh. I'm nervous about it, but I do have double Aku Akus and I think I can get another one soon enough. I don't know if you can get triple Aku Akus on these little levels, or not the levels, but this area on the little jet board. I skipped that uh, checkpoint by accident, but I don't think it'll matter. Oh, right over your head! Awesome, that was cool. 
But yeah, I don't think it matters either which way because if I die, I'm gonna have to restart the whole thing regardless. But let's find out. Oh, it does not give you the three Aku Akus. That's sort of a bummer, but it makes sense. That was also probably a bit of a time waster if I hop in the air like that. And we're not gonna worry about not being over here. And I think it'll be definitely quicker just to go through like this. Oh, can you stop it? Oh, you know what? That's probably where we definitely the Aku Aku because I don't think we can get through there normally if we don't do that. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. So there is another gem for us. Two gems, one level. Pretty darn awesome. Now, that's the yellow gem. It looks like a not color gem, but it is indeed the yellow gem. So there's plant food all done for now. Move on to the next level after we puke up that yellow gem. And this will be, of course, sewer or later. I love how almost all of these levels have like some pretty funny pun. Of course, sewer or later is supposed to be a pun on sooner or later. Sooner or later, we'll play the level. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this sewer level. <laughs> this is yet another sewer level. I don't know if this is our second or third one. We got 57 crates again. We got these guys. I don't like these guys. Ooh, go for him. <laughs> I just like how he's just a normal person. Like the Crash universe is, is very weird and very nonsensical. Gosh darn, that was not a good start. But it's weird because, you know, I didn't actually think that Crash Bandicoot like took place on, you know, an earth that we could universally recognize. But in the beginning of this game, you can actually just look down, like, you know, like it shows the shot of the spaceship and you can see earth and you can see North America. So it's just like, it actually is planet Earth, which is weird because it's like the time frame is so weird because Crash 3 is all about time travel. So they can totally ignore that. But here in Crash 2, like there's enough evidence to show that there's civilization if we have to have sewers and you know, there's people, there's workers working in the sewers here. But it's also this crazy weird place where there's, you know, ancient jungle temples with weird beings that we've never seen before and like crazy iguanas that jump around. It's just like, it's, it's really weird. Okay, I thought that you didn't follow me and you did a left to right pattern, but I guess I'm wrong. I'm dying a lot and I have not as many lives as I hoped I would have. Come on, come on, we can do this. But it's just weird. Obviously, I don't think it's supposed to be incredibly sensical because it's just a, you know, silly little game. <laughs> but I just find it weird that like, what time frame are we in? What does the rest of the world look like? Is it civilized, is it not? Because the only proof of civilization we usually have, you know, of normal, I wanna say even normal, but of people, of human beings, is like, oh gosh, that was a mistake. I got like stuck in the water there. Oh, hey, the yellow gem. The main proof we have is, I guess, Papu Papu, right? So that's just weird. Oh, come on, I landed perfectly in the middle of that. Why does that keep happening to me? It's super hard to tell. Oh, here's the gem. Nice, so there's the yellow gem. Now, if I remember correctly, I actually just wanna die because there's no more crates left on this path. And we just wanna go ahead and go through this way because it'll lead us to somewhere that's farther than the level. And if we don't get these crates now, we will have to sort of annoyingly backtrack, which doesn't sound fun. So now that we definitely have the yellow gem, which looks exactly like, is it the yellow gem? Actually, no, it's not. We just took the yellow gem to get there. That is just a normal clear gem. It's so hard to tell. They look exactly the same. At least, you know, out of memory they do. If I compare them, I could probably see the difference. But yeah, now we have all this other stuff we could get to. Because I'm pretty sure that yellow gem path would have taken us somewhere farther than the level, which we do not want right now. But here we go. So now we got our bonus level. And this actually looks really cool. I wish there were actually more 2D side-scrolling sections in the sewer levels because this looks super awesome. You just don't get to see it too often. So this, like, I could meticulously try to bounce off of every single crate here but I don't really need to because the nitrous are gonna explode it either which way. Oh boy, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall off the side. The music is so good though. I mean, every time I hear good Crash music, for whatever reason, it reminds me more of Crash Team Racing. And I'll say it before, I said it before, I'll say it time and time again, I truly, truly wish they remaster Crash Team Racing. A lot of people have been saying the same thing, which is super duper exciting because I didn't think that many people actually played Crash Team Racing. Like I thought that you know it was sort of like a a sort of a niche game throughout Crash Bandicoot fans, and that people outside of the Crash Bandicoot fan didn't really touch on it too much. Because I always hear people you know gush about Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart 64, but I don't hear too many people talk about Crash Team Racing. Even though in my opinion it's the superior out of the three, and that's not just because I'm a huge fanboy. I think it's actually legitimately a better kart racer game. Oh look at that! Lucky yes, we got our triple Aku Aku. We can't take this anywhere. That's fine. Explode all of those for the massive explosion. I think I gotta go to the left here. I honestly don't remember, but I think this is the correct way to go. It is, look at me! Whoa, 
get this, and oh no, we're gonna have to go back. We're gonna have to come back here once we find whatever exclamation point we need to hit. So that didn't last very long, even though I, I got an extra Aku Aku there. That was weird. Oh, we gotta get these. So here, one of them is the normal one, one of them is the green one. So now we, we definitely have to go back. But yeah, I definitely wanna see Crash Team Racing retouched upon. And as everybody has stated, a lot of people wanna see it redone and have online support, which is a cool idea. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I just feel like that's a little above and beyond to have like maybe online time trial records. Like I can imagine that. I don't think we're ever gonna have like a competitive online Crash Team Racing, even though that would be so solid because there are a lot of good Crash Team Racing players. I pressed the wrong combo of buttons. I was supposed to slide and jump, not jump and slam. Gosh darn. Now I gotta be really careful because I have wasted all of my Aku Akus. There we go. Did we get everything we did? Look at us, 57 crates for me, double clear gem and a crystal all in one run. Sounds pretty fabulous. So there's two or later, we got it all done in one run, which is pretty satisfying. It's always good when we don't have to replay a level more than once, which is why I sort of feel bad about the sewer level in the last episode. We could have done it all at once, I just didn't realize, because I think it was different in the original Crash too. But there we go, there's another gem for us. And now we can go to our next level, which is Bear Down. This one's pretty important, but first we got ourselves a phone call. Who is it? Oh, hi. Thank goodness, I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying to... Oh no, we don't know. What is he trying to do? We'll have to find out later. For now, we gotta play Bear Down. Okay, so it's not another sewer level, it's another bear level. Now this one is really cool for a couple reasons. We're gonna have to probably play it a couple times. I can't remember exactly, but we got a bunch of crates to get and there is a secret exit. We found that, we got a charge and jump there. This is where the charging becomes really important. But there is a secret exit to this level. It is the second bear level. There's no bear to hop on to get the extra 10 lives this time, but that's okay, we'll survive. Hello. <laughs> I like how he almost falls over when he's trying to turn around to get prepared. I don't, what? It's circle, not square. I'm awful at this game. <laughs> One more time, we got it this time. But I actually cannot remember in the lore what Cortex is exactly doing with the crystals. Like, I, I guess, I mean, obviously, the whole part of, part of it is he's manipulating Crash to get the crystals. But what are the, like, the crystals give him power. We obviously know that much, but what he's doing with them, sort of, wow, that was weird. <laughs> sort of kind of a mystery. And I think the idea is that, I mean, it's supposed to be sort of, sort of, like, basically generic, where it's, you don't know because it's just, ah, he's trying to get power, he's evil, remember? He's gonna do evil things. And that's really all you get. Oh, geez. Oh, that used to be super tough to do in the original. I don't know why it wasn't that hard there but I couldn't mess up here. These guys lifting and picking up the ice are super duper difficult because they always have like a preset pattern and that's pretty tough. The game has a lot of cycles like that. Ooh, get that. There's our crystal. How are we doing on the, we're actually really close to getting the gem as well. Oh, got that, got that. And then, oh geez, I almost didn't jump for that one. I second guess myself. Excuse me, Narwhal, thank you. Oh no, oh, we got it, nice. 30 out of 42. Oh, I barely got that one. Oh, and there's a few um, nitro ones. I was about to call them electric. They're not electric. Oh gosh, we gotta go, we gotta go. That could have been awful there. So we just need to get those two nitro, which is right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will have to replay this level to go and do that secret exit because I do wanna get the normal exit for right now. So here's our gem and let's finish up Bear Down. That was actually easier than the first one for me, for whatever reason. So there's the first round of Bear Down, down, done, dern. <laughs> what am I saying? There's our crystal, and there's our gem. So now we gotta go and do the secret exit, and this is where things might get a little complicated in today's episode, because we can get a secret exit, which will help us get a gem in the Warp 2 room, which I guess maybe we'll just do right after this. I don't know, it'll be sort of complicated, but let's go ahead and do Bear Down. So here we go. So now we gotta get this little secret exit, and this is where things get weird between this game and the original, is that in the original game, these were actually icebergs, so you could slip on these. These were technically ice physics. Maybe they realized that their ice physics weren't as good as the original game, so they decided not to do that. 
but it's actually much easier, so I appreciate it. I know in the PSP version, it was just impossible, just because Ice Physics was so tough on, like I said, the tiny little controls you got on the PlayStation Portable. So I just, you know, skipped that, which is totally fine with me, because I never bothered to 100% the game until now. So here we are, we're in this fancy room again, and we just gotta turn around and go right into Air Crash. Okay, so this might be a little bit difficult, but I guess what we could do is get some extra one-ups if we wanted them. That's all I'll take. Two extra lives, I lost one, so we're, we're still getting a bonus of one, which is nice and good for me. I'll ignore that last one. <laughs> That's fine, because we're still getting plenty of crates here, and, and I think that if we do this, we should be able to get that last gem for this level, which is, of course, Air Crash, or whatever it was called. Oh boy. Now here, I guess I could grab that. I'm not too worried about it because of the fact that we can attack this, and that'll do it for us. Is that it? Was that really it? I thought it was more than that. I was afraid this was gonna be like crazy difficult. It teleports you here, and I guess it just gets the rest of the crates for you, which is nice, because now I think we just have to travel forward and complete the level normally, which I've done already. But you know what? Let's do it again, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll be right back. So there we have it, that is all 102 crates for us. Very, very cool. I'm glad we were able to get that done. So now Warp 2, yeah, Warp Room 2 is now technically 100% complete, which means we can get our way back to Warp Room 3. So there we go, the final gem that we need out of Warp Room 2. I'm almost positive, Air Crush, we're making some great progress, and I don't think I've saved the game in a little while, so I should probably do that soon, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now, because we have to worry about going back to Warp Room 3 and moving on to the next one, which should be the third level. Man, it's been taking longer and longer to get through all these, but it's been well worth it. No, it's actually the fourth level, which is Road to Ruin. Let's go. So we actually can't get the gem for this one? I think there's like, okay, there's multiple gems. Oh yeah, there's, there's a death route in this. So we need to go ahead and ignore getting all of the crates because as you can see to the left there, I think that's where we have to worry about it. We can't do that one because, oh gosh. Whoop, Aku Aku is gonna become a big help here if we need to go through the death route style. Oh, whoa, oh okay, for a second I thought I exploded it somehow. Those little monkey heads are supposed to be shooting on fire. I'm a little confused why they weren't there. Ooh, don't wanna jump too far. See, this guy's shooting out fire. Oh, here it is, wow, that was actually really easy. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and do the death route and then we'll complete the level normally, but we can't go ahead and get all the crates for this one because we have to find a secret exit at some point. I think that actually might be a long time from now. Oh, I hate these. I hate these so much, but we gotta go over like that. Oh, evil monkey, get out of here. And that's something I really appreciate about this game is those evil monkeys, I think that if you don't take any secret routes and play through this game normally, you only see him in this game like once in total. I just find it really nice that back in the day, they actually took the time and effort to make a character for something you might not even see. Like, I feel like there's so many like companies trying to save ass assets and everything nowadays that you just don't see that kind of level of detail, you know, like to even completely construct an enemy that you might not even see in the game at all. I just feel like that's like a nice little touch, but there is our gem for completing the, the death run. We did that pretty easily, and I think that was just a lucky management of our What's it called? Our lucky management of our Aku Akus. And this level typically is really tough, so that's why I'm like blown away. I'm doing okay with it right now. Look at me, mom, I'm doing great. Oh, get out of here. We could do the bonus area, but I think maybe we should just hold off for now. Just because, you know, if we have to replay this level, we might as well add some surprises in for the next time. Oh, Robo Monkey, he's back from Crash 1, and this time more Robo than ever. Okay, 3D planes helping me out there. Oh, oh no, whoa, whoa, how did I survive? I have no clue. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was insane. Let's get out of here. So there's our gem. One man's trash is another man's treasure. What does that have to do with the gems? Who, who, who's treat, treating these gems like trash? I'm not really sure we, oh, we missed a crystal though. Uh oh, I guess we do have to replay through it then because I didn't see that crystal at all. I guess I'll go and do that then. So now we're passing, we just passed, passed death, death route. I guess I should have done this first. Very silly of me, but there we go. We'll, we'll go ahead and show off what else is in this level, you know, that you wouldn't see if you take the death route, just, you know, f you know, for the sh sake of coverage. But we will be playing through this level much later in the game. I'm pretty sure it's much later. To go ahead and get the proper gem. For now, we're just gonna get triple Aku Aku, because I actually think, yeah, that's where it leads us off. So now we can go ahead and just cut back to uh, the warp room. So there's our crystal, <laughs> finally. 
I'll probably skip the animation for this because it takes a little too long, but there we go. Now we have our fifth and final level of this warp room, unbearable. Okay, so this is gonna be yet another level we have to play multiple times, but it's also one of the coolest levels in the game because there's a giant poem at her tagging us. She's mad that we went ahead and rode her baby for a thrill ride. I mean, I don't think Poe minded too much, but I don't wanna mess with a, a, a mother's scorn. I think it's how the saying goes. And you definitely don't. She is very much just like, how dare you go and have fun with my child without wearing a helmet. <laughs> and as soon as you get rid of her, there's just another one waiting for you. You didn't just make her mother mad, you made the whole polar bear family mad. So will Polar actually grow to be that size? Because he'll be a very valuable asset against Cortex, if that's the case. I mean, Polar is a playable character in the Crashing Racing, but of course, he isn't that big. Cort I think, yeah, Polar is definitely a he. Oh boy, run, 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 run. And we will have to return to this level, like I said again, for a secret exit. There are tons of those in this game. And I don't think we need to go to that secret exit for the... The war, I mean, for the uh, first gem. I really hope not. Let's get across to here and, and do what we can. I mean, so far I think we're doing pretty good on crates. I, we haven't missed any, which is a good thing. Let's get all of those, hit that bad boy, and turn around. This is actually a really cool one because you can see the icy caves in the background outside. I just think that's a nice touch. Like, the environmental detail in this game is fantastic. They did a great job. I definitely think there'll be a nitro exploder somewhere. I think actually it's immediately after this bonus. I think we saw it right on our way out. Yep. So that'll bring me up to 22. So I still have a lot of more crates to go. So maybe I won't be able to. I don't know, we'll have to find out. Run, run, run. Attack that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh boy. Get that. Nice, we're doing all right. Gotta be careful because of the evil salamanders. But getting these crates while running is like definitely the hardest spot part. I really don't know how to deal with that little fence though. I don't know if it's a better idea to duck under or to spin it. I guess in a situation like that, definitely better to, to spin it. Oh, oh, look at us, I forgot about this part. Run, Polar, run. He's like, give me back my son. <laughs> it's like, Dad, you can't tell me what to do. Okay, that hurt. How am I supposed, oh, you know what? I think the bear just explodes those ones. I just love how he's like, thumbs up to the bear. He's like, you ready for this? He's like, I was born ready. Okay, so he can break those. That's good, that's good. So if we do miss something, it's not GG, it's not game over. So yeah, he can explode those as well. We just gotta keep running. Oh no, oh no. I love though that if we get exploded, Polar is totally fine, you know? His life is not, you know, less valuable than ours. Oh no, he took his baby with him. Give the baby back. Baby, doesn't he come back? I swear that if you wait here for long enough, he comes back. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, well for right now, I don't think he comes back, the poor guy. Is this the end of the level though? I guess it is. So there's this, like there, there's a normal way through, but I guess we'll be back to show it again. Crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last 10 crystals will be the hardest to gather and my, <laughs> our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next warp room. Oh, come on, I was, I, I literally just got back. I went to the bathroom and I guess Cortex was giving us a lecture. Well, I don't wanna hear it, Cortex. We gotta go back into Unbearable. Or not. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta go against Tiny Tiger now. Great. Okay, well, at least it's one of my favorite bosses in the game as well. Is it better than Kabuto Brothers? I'm not sure, but it's still cool because we get to introduce one of my favorite characters in the Crash franchise, my go-to character in Crash Team Racing, Tiny the Tiger. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. He's super cool and of course he's like super buff. I really hate what they ended up doing to him. Oh gosh, we gotta, yeah, we gotta do that to him. Make him follow us into a pit, the poor guy. I, I really hate what they did to him in like the Crash Mutant games where he just looks totally different and he sounds like Mr. T. It's like, that's not what Tiny is. It's a different character, just he stole Tiny's name. Also, I jumped a little too late. Oh gosh, come on. I just like how he has like his cool little room in there and it has his name and like, I don't know what cool stuff he does in there, but hopefully it is indeed cool. Here, nope, that was dumb of me. Oh, well he fell too. <laughs> 
Oh, there he goes. See you, dude. <laughs> oh, gosh. They are not leaving me much room here. All right, you coming back up? There you are. He's fine, he's fine. He's gonna start jumping for me though, so I gotta start moving quick. Oh boy. This this is actually giving me more difficulty than I've ever had with this boss, I think. Like, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time right now. Oh, okay, well, that didn't, that didn't fool him. Oh no, it did! <laughs> so I guess you can skip ones, but he can't. Good to know. Hmm. Well, I gotta wait here and just hope he doesn't get mad at me. All right, he's, he's roaring, he's shaking the whole place up. But he's just such a cool character in my opinion. Just like how he's just sort of this crazy guy who's like super powerful. Oh geez. Okay, so he can jump diagonally. Diagonally. I don't know how to pronounce that apparently. So I gotta be careful of that. That should get him. It will. See you, Tiny! We gotta land here quickly. And there we go, we survived. <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at how beat up he is. Poor guy. Hi. Yikes. <laughs> Tiny tricked. Very cool, another trophy done and another boss defeated. There's Tiny Tiger defeated. Now we only have one thing left to do and it was what I was supposed to do earlier but I really don't like how it forces you to go to the boss. So it doesn't make any sense to me. But let's go ahead and do Unbearable one more time. So one thing we have to do is that after he falls in the pit like that, we have to hop down here, which you would think would just be death. But no, there's a whole level down here with enemies we've never seen before. There's a whole group of evil hunters. I guess they were here trying to hunt the polar bears, which I'm glad we stopped them then, because that's not something I want happening to these poor, poor polar bears. I don't want them being hunted down. I mean, I don't even want to bother them. They're bothering me. So I don't want that happening to them. Okay, so what are we doing here? I guess I could body slam this. Bada boom. So I'm glad we're taking care of the evil hunters. You know, hunting is not something I'm a fan of. That stunk. I'm gonna have to try that again. So this is where things get really hard to manage because we need to dodge bullets and attack turtles. And that's was like, oh, come on. The turtles are more attacking us than we're attacking them at this point. Oh, oh, oh gosh. So now I just gotta like sort of time it, right? I gotta make sure that I'm jumping over it. Also dodging these turtles. You're gonna shoot, I'm gonna jump over it. There we go. Hey, can I get up here? I guess I can, but that's fine, because I can do this. <laughs> and this is weird and difficult. I gotta make sure I'm getting everything before I break that bounce block, which it looks like I am. But yeah, we're getting some lives out of this, which is nice and dandy. Okay, what about this metal armadillo I've never seen before? What do we do here? I guess I gotta really make it a super pinpoint jump. This is where it gets crazy difficult. This game is ridiculous. Oh, I mean, I feel like out of all the games, probably Crash 3 is the easiest from what I've heard. Honestly, I've only played Oh wow, did he break it with the, 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 what happened? Oh, that wasn't a bouncy block. I thought it was a bouncy block, come on. Okay, this isn't that big of a deal, I just messed up. There we go, whoa, whoa, excuse me. What are you guys doing here? Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so I guess you get one of those. I was completely prepared to try to long jump that. I'm glad I didn't, I mean, maybe you still could've. I'm just glad I didn't try. This is so long and difficult. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on, I totally jumped that. All right, well I get the jump on your face and then we're out of here. Jeez, and that that's only, so I guess we had to do that. The problem is that's not it. We still have more to do. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and complete the rest of us, the rest of this as you've already seen and then we'll be back at the end of the level. So now that we've done that, we have all the boxes in this level. I can go and grab this gem. But we're not quite done I don't think because I'm almost positive we can do something here. We can make this jump. Just like that. And if we come back, look who's waiting for us. It's a good buddy polar bear pal. Yeah, and that just teleports us to a different area. And this is actually, I think, our first secret warp room level. I'm not really sure, we'll find out together. So there we go, you can see it kicks us out to this level. And then we just, you know, bring that gem to somewhere else. And that's nice and completed. But what is this area exactly? And that's where it's like sort of hard to explain and I don't know entirely. But you can see like Road to Ruin, we've already been there. Snow Go, we've already been there. Air Crash, we've already been there. But this is actually a level that's specifically just here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Now I don't think I've ever played this level before. So we'll give it a shot together and you know, like see, whoa, it's dark though. It's dark and spooky. So there are 38 boxes to get here. Like I said, I've never played this one before, so I don't know how exactly it's gonna work out. Whoa! 
That is weird. Okay. That's gonna take a couple tries, isn't it? There we go. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, watch out for the orcas. They're an endangered species, I know that feeling. They're also a black and white endangered species. We have a lot in common. Oh, we got the checkpoint. That's gonna be good, because I have no idea what's coming up and it's too dark to see. It's super duper scary. Whoa. I already got 16 out of 38, which is not quite half. Oh, come on. That's gonna be tough, how do you make that? This is insane. <laughs> These secret levels really are tough. I don't know if, I think there might also be an additional extra warp room on top of all this. Like, if I remember correctly, there is. I don't know though, it's been so long. So we'll have to see. No! Come on! You have to both charge and jump, and it's just, it's so difficult and confusing. There we go! That was much better. But now I gotta veer all the way left, get those, veer back right, because there's some orcas coming. There's another checkpoint for us. I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled, because I do not want to miss any of these crates in the darkness. Oh, oh, these are ready to explode. No, I'm supposed to charge. Gosh darn, it's really tough. Like it's one of those things where you just don't know when it's coming, or like what is coming until it's here. So you just either have to have world record fast reaction times or just to know what's coming, which once again, I've said before, Crash Bandicoot is a trial and error type game. <laughs> a lot of the times you're not supposed to be able to do everything on the first try. You're pretty good if you can, but I cannot. I mean, all in all, most of the levels that I've done really well with are the levels that I've, of course, played time and time again. So these ones are just quite tough for me. Up, up. Oh, and to be honest, you know, we've played a lot of easy levels so far, but the hard levels are, you know, starting to emerge. I think. Whoa, that is so scary! Just being launched in the air. You have no idea where you're going. It's way too dark. 38 out of 38, though. That is all I want. That is all I need. There was no crystal, though. Was there supposed to be a crystal? Because if there was a crystal, I'm gonna be an angry zebra. So there is totally bare done. Looks like there was only the gem to get there, so that is definitely a secret level indeed. I've never done that before, so there is something new I've never done before. Hopefully, maybe it's something you've never watched before either, but also, you can see there's another level that we'll eventually run into that looks like another secret level totally fly, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and head back in. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Up. Back to Warp Room 3, and that's where we'll finish off today's episode. We've been making some fantastic progress, and I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me, because Crash has been a lot of fun to play through. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy through Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Tiger, so now you've watched the video, and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But also, if you enjoyed this video, and you wanna see more, go ahead and click on some of the videos on your screen right now for more Zebra-tastic goodness. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.